Ceylon gained its independence from Britain in 1948. The island nation was reborn, Sri Lanka, nicknamed the Pearl of the Indian Ocean. Its cultural sites and traditions sacred to many from the neighboring continents. Its forests, natural temples, giving the country one of the highest rates of biological endemism in the world. Its coastal swamps, maze-like with great sea walls of mangrove trees capable of taking on waves of great force. Breeding grounds for birds, prawn, crabs, and small fish that grow and move out to sea. And hideouts for the Tamil Tigers during a 30-year civil war. Mangroves marauded by bombs to rout out the tigers. When the fighting finally subsided, scars on the land were exacerbated by shrimp farming. It left barren gaps on the island's green belt. penetrable by the 2004 tsunami, displacing half a million. The war ended in 2009. It took a tremendous toll, killing 100,000 civilians over the years. Families and single mothers in the northern districts were among the most adversely affected. One day we walked with the community in the coastal belt. We saw that the one mother is hitting the, uh, the uh, mango seedling in the soil. Her son, she asked him, why mama putting this plant uh, in the coastal belt? Then she said, son, this fish is coming because of this uh, plant. That's why I grow this plant here. Therefore, I realized that to keep the children alive about their environment, the most important for is the mother. Many mothers take advantage of a new program developed by nonprofit Sudisa of Sri Lanka and Psychology of the United States. They undergo five days training, learn all about their mangrove ecosystems, revitalize old businesses, start new ones, and receive small business loans, equivalent to $100. Also a student of the mangroves, the president declares Sri Lanka the first nation in the world to federally protect every mangrove tree in the country. A massive replanting campaign begins. The world's first mangrove museum is built. The museum symbolizes the real conservation effort of the mangroves in the country. Sri Lankan society has a very great ethnic diversity. When we go to the south, you can uh, meet the Singlish people. When you go to the east, some, some as you can see the Muslim people. When you go to the north, you can see the Tamil people. But when we go into work to conservation of the mangroves, nobody concerned about the ethnic diversity. They all are concerned about the biodiversity. They all are gathering. Then they can get together and then they'll say that the common enemy is uh, not the ethnic, eth ethnicity of one person. So it is common enemy is the risk associated with environmental calamities, economic shocks. These are the enemies. To defeat these enemies, you should be together, not in isolation. But the far north, where fighting had been heaviest, 
remains isolated from assistance. Until 2017, when it is declared safe from landmines. Out of the debris in key battlegrounds in Monar district, Sudisa and Psychology build a mangrove complex. Such a good model. Right. The community working together. Right. Yes. Tamil, yes. Sinhalese, Sinhalese. Sinhalese. Yes. Muslim, Catholic, all, all, just just all, all, them, all of them. Including the Navy and government officials. We are trying to establish a green belt around the country. Mangroves a kind of language which everybody can speak. You could see in here even, being I am a Sinhalese, there are Tamils, there are Muslims. So we all work together. To plant a tree, we don't need any language to speak. Some of the world's top forestry and agriculture experts pay visits. During the time of tsunami, many people's lives were saved and their properties were protected in the presence of mangroves. When the mangroves were absent, the people were killed. So mangroves have got tremendous potential in saving the people from the natural disasters. In other words, Lily, um, வாலலாம் the best ecosystem function and ecological service of mangroves is carbon capture and carbon sequestration. This is a remarkable function. In India, we have 4,670 square kilometer mangroves. We every day, the mangroves remove 9 million tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So which is equivalent to 173 billion US dollars in the international market. Oh, what a remarkable economic value of this mangrove ecosystem. <laughs> Sudisa members are exposed to a world of information about mangroves and how to run a business. Thirteen connected groups, accounting for more than 50 women in Thevenpiti village, have received loans and are running different kinds of businesses. Lily owns a small shop. Our day to day life put this side. If I am male, then that cut day, I am raw. Cut down one two month or cut or cut down one load. I am one two only. Yeah, but that that that. So that under the way, our guys are fine. But the cut day male male, na all the money is a yak go there. Go. In the ever that in the modern day, go on one day. Not just. Sri Lankan food is hot and the demand for chili powder is high. Tevi, I am going to buy some chili powder. 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 I am going to buy some chili powder
அப்படி போகுது இந்த நண்டு முன்னூறு ரூபா இப்போ பொறிக்கும் போது நல்ல சொப்டாகவும் முறுமு ரெண்டும் இருக்கும் அதான் விருப்பத்துக்குரிய சாப்பாடு மறுபடி இந்த கரமுண்டு நண்டுகள் நண்டு வந்தால் போது பயிரம் தானே பொறிப்படா இது கரைக்கு தான் இது சார் அந்த மற்ற நிறுவனங்களை விட இப்போ சீக்கோலஜி நிறுவனத்தினால் வந்து எங்களோட அணுகி ஒரு காயாக தந்தை இந்த சீட்டோ அல்லது சேமிப்பில் எடுத்து அவருடைய பங்களிப்பில் நீங்கள் நிறைவு கண்டு அவருடைய பணத்தை திரும்ப இஞ்சால மீளை செலுத்தி என்னுடைய பேர் ஆண்டனி ராஜ் மேரி கெலிஸ்டா எனக்கு இரண்டு குழந்தைகள் இருக்கு எனது கணவர் கடற்தொழில் நான் அங்கே இடம் வேண்டும் போகிறதுக்கு முடியாது ஸோ அங்கே சிஸ்டராக்கள் கொண்டு வந்து இப்போ பயிற்சி தந்தவங்க அங்கே தையல் பயிற்சி ஆறு மாதம் கோர்ஸ் பயிற்சி செய்வாங்க அதில் தையல் பழகினா பழகி இடம் வேந்து போயிட்டு போ போகிறதுக்கு முதல் நல்லா இருந்தேன் நாங்கள் இடம் வேந்து போயிட்டு வந்ததில் கொஞ்சம் கஷ்டமாக இருந்தது அதோட நான் இதற்கிட்ட சொல்லி மிஷின் வேண்டி நானே தையல் மிஷின் வேண்டி தச்சு கொண்டு வந்தது தச்சு கொண்டு வந்து பையன் பையன் ஆக்களட்ட உடுப்புகள் வேண்டி வேண்டி தைக்க வலிக்கிட்டார் தைக்க வலிக்கிட்டு அப்படியே தைக்க வலிக்கிட்டு வந்து அதுக்காக தான் இந்த தையல் இதுவே பண்ணுங்க இந்த இந்த மாப்பிள்ளையில் தொழில் காணாது வருமானம் காணாது அதில் பெற்று கொண்டு வந்தால் இந்த வியாபாரத்தை பற்றி நல்ல இது வியாபாரத்தை பற்றி அறிந்து கொண்டு நான் இந்த மாப்பிள்ளை வியாபாரம் செய்கிறேன் கடத்தொழில் வியாபாரம் இப்போ தொழிலில் முன்னேற்றம் அடைஞ்சு ஓ அது இருக்கு எந்த புல் என்ன பிள்ளை விடிய எழும்பினா தானே எந்த பிள்ளை இப்போ கோயிலுக்கு போயிட்டு வந்து அம்மா என்ன வேலை இருக்கான்னு கேட்கும் ஒவ்வொரு நாளும் எந்த பிள்ளை போத்துல தண்ணி எடுத்து வச்சுட்டு தான் பள்ளிக்கூடம் போகும் எந்த பிள்ளை When the women are done with their daily duties they tend to their backyard nurseries that knowledge they have now therefore they are always they are coming that get together they are going to the coastal belt they are protecting the mangoes and also they are replanting they they build the their happiness and everything under these those mango trees this is very important they realize that this is some secret to that mango trees it will take many years but the green belt of sri lanka will come back a fortress like here at the chilao lagoon which has returned from devastation as one of sri lanka's prime mangrove habitats Mangoes symbolize the ethnic harmony now. Mangoes symbolize the the social life now. Mangoes symbolize that uh, the so real development of the country because each and every people there are so many barriers now no barriers for the protection mangoes. It means that mango has real uh, social uh, the co- cohesion, social integration. So I think uh, it's a, it's a good kind of a reconciliation with each other. Uh, in a country like uh, what we are now after the post war scenario so i think uh, it's a good sign to go forward or the way forward uh, as a as a sri lankan nation in the village of thevenpiti near the gulf of manar women line up with their seedlings for what is a new ritual planting precious mangroves it is these heroes in sri lanka who lead the battle against sea level rise and brings Sri Lanka back as the pearl of the Indian Ocean.